Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. My name is Arya and today I'm gonna be doing a massive book haul because I have book buying problems and they're serious and I need to stop but I still have accumulated quite the amount of books since my last book haul which I believe was in December so still a problem considering how many books I have here but hopefully in the next few months I will be able to hold off on buying books so fingers crossed also it's almost April and can we just talk about the fact that I still haven't removed the snowflakes from my bookshelves I mean they're pretty so who cares if it's not winter and it's sunny as heck today which you can tell I mean I'm not against it Anyway, enough with the rambling, I'm just gonna get into the book haul and I'm gonna start in no particular order, just pick up books from the stacks as I see them. The first book on the stack is House of Earth and Blood or otherwise known as Crescent City by Sarah J Maas. Do I already own a hardcover copy of this? Yes, I do. Did I buy the paperback? Yes, I did. Why? I, I don't know. I don't know, but look at it. It's beautiful and the spine and the sprayed edges and this is huge this is massive but it's beautiful i love the cover and there is honestly no excuse also have i read this not yet i'm still going through sarah j mass's books one by one i'm still reading throne of glass and i just finished emperor of storms and that was that was an ending but anyhow slowly getting through her books and i will eventually get to this one as well next up i have a very hyped series that everyone has been going crazy about and honestly so have i and that is from blood and ash by jennifer l armantrout so here i have the first book and under that i have the second book which is kingdom of flesh and fire and i have read this and it was great i gave it a five out of five stars and i cannot wait to dive into the sequel because i just need to know what's gonna happen next and i love the characters and it's just so good and I yes so if you haven't read these yet please do because they're really good especially if you love romance and vampires and like sassy heroines can you tell i'm mildly obsessed because i am next up i have three books that i got from a subscription service here in the uk and it is called books that matter and i really love this subscription service because they mostly focus on books with feminist themes and stuff like that and they work with a lot of indie local small businesses and they feature a lot of div diverse authors and diverse businesses and just diverse voices and i honestly love that and i want to support them so i'm just subscribed to them and i've been subscribed to them for three months now so i have three books to show you there's nothing special about the books they're just like regular paperbacks which i'm honestly fine with so i have the january one which was skinned by em reapy so this is like an adult contemporary and the main character struggles a lot with insecurities and just self-acceptance and just the image of the self in general and it's just her story as she goes through that and i'm assuming learns to accept herself and her body and dealing with her insecurities i'm assuming but it sounds something very much up my alley and i'm just gonna read a little bit from the back it says skin engages powerfully with issues of self and belonging via incredibly beguiling via an incredibly beguiling protagonist intelligent and self-aware sharp and acute so it sounds really good and i'm very much looking forward to read it the february book was the emperor's babe by 
Bernadine Evaristo and I'm sure a lot of people have heard this author's name. They're very known for Girl, Woman, Other. I like how they included a more backlisted book of theirs and this is a book written in verse and I haven't read any books written in verse so I'm not 100% sure to how to feel about that but I'm pretty sure I'm still gonna love it as long as I get like the gist of the story which I'm sure I will. And then there's the March book and this is she Will Soar by Anna Sampson and this is a poetry collection and they're not written by Anna Sampson but they're like compiled together by this author and there's a bunch of different poems and there's poets like Carol Ann Duffy, Christina Rossetti, Stevie Smith, Sarah, Gr Sarah Crossan, Emily Dickinson and many many others. There's like a bunch of people over here so I do love poetry. I always love reading more poetry so whenever i'm in the poetry mood this is gonna be my pick next up i have a non-fiction women don't owe you pretty by florence given as you may or may not know i do like reading a lot of feminist non-fiction and this is one that has been very spoken about so i picked it up secondhand it looks a little bit battered which you can't really tell from the video but I do not mind that much and um, I would love to get into this. I don't know when, but it's gonna happen. I will read it. I do want to read it. I just don't know when that's gonna happen. Next up, I have The Library of the Dead by T.L. Huchu. This is the first book in a new series. This might be a debut, but don't quote me on that. And this book sounds so good. Oh my, oh my goodness. So it is set in Edinburgh there's ghosts, there's mystery, and there's also Zimbabwean magic. If that doesn't sound like a nice mix of things that is gonna produce an amazing book, I don't know what does. So honestly, just from those things, I was intrigued and I instantly went and pre-ordered it. And I cannot wait to get to this one as well and actually see if this is as intriguing as I think it is. And then I have A Trial of Sorcerers by Elise Kova and I don't know anything about this book. I have no idea what it's about. All I know is that it's set in the same universe as The Air Awakens by Elise Kova and I have not read a single Elise Kova book but I honestly want to read all of her books. They all sound so good and those covers and I mean this cover just appreciate this cover for a second. It's so beautiful and I'm gonna show you the naked book in a second but yeah I've just been wanting to read all of her books since forever honestly and there's no reason why I haven't picked any of them up and I just saw that this one was being published so I pre-ordered it because I was like here is my opportunity, I'm just gonna go ahead and do it. So I did it. And here's the book. And now time for the naked book because that is gonna speak for itself. Here it is. Like, are, are we actually serious? This is so beautiful. Look at this. Why don't all naked books look like this? So cannot wait to get to this one as well whenever that happens. I don't know when as per usual, but I know I'll read it. The when still remains to be seen. Next up, I have a much anticipated book and that is Chain of Iron by Cassandra Clare. This is the second book in the Last Hour series and this is like a spin-off of a spin-off of a spin-off in the series. If you're a Cassandra Clare fan and if you read Cassandra Clare books, you're gonna know what this is about and you've probably heard of this book because it's everywhere. And um, as you all know, I read every single Cassandra Clare book and I will read this one and I've actually started reading Chain of Gold recently and I'm doing a reading vlog for it and I've never vlogged in my life and so I don't know how that's gonna go but I'm gonna do my best because I want to do a reading vlog of it and I want you to see my thoughts and feelings on Chain of Gold but anyhow reading Chain of Gold currently so I will sooner rather than later get to this one as well. Next up I have The Switch by Beth O'Leary. I've already read this a while ago and it is so good. 
I, I read Beth O'Leary's other book, The Flat Share, and I absolutely loved it. And so I read this one as well and absolutely loved it. And so I'm hoping that I'm going to love her next book as well. But now we're talking about this one. So this one is obviously a romance contemporary adult book. And in here we follow the grandma and the niece and they sort of switch lives in a sense i guess so the grandma goes to live in london in the niece's apartment and everything and the niece goes to live in grandma's little village in her house and all of that and so they kind of just like switch lives for a little bit and during that they find love and purpose for life and everything and it, it was just so cute and heartwarming and adorable and I loved it. I love Beth O'Leary's reading and this is probably going to be an author that I'm going to read every book from. But also, if you are interested, I guess trigger warning for grief in this book. Next up, I have a few series and you know when you just buy like an entire series and you're hoping that you're going to love it. Well, I, I do that a lot and I usually love the series. I don't think it's happened before when I just bought the entire series and I didn't love it. And hopefully it doesn't happen in the future, but here's one of them. So I got the Discovery of Witches series. I'm not even sure if that's the actual name of the series, but here you go. So they, they don't want to stay. They don't want to stay. Come on. Okay, here's the series. So we have... A Discovery of Witches, which I've already read and I've liked a lot. Not loved, but I've liked a lot and I will continue with the series. Then there's Shadow of Night. I do believe this is the second book in the series. And the last book in the series has to be The Book of Life, all by Deborah Harkness. And I'm just gonna hold the first one up because they, they don't wanna, they're like slippery covers, so they don't wanna stay in place. So this series is essentially about a witch that discovers this old hidden under spell or cursed or something manuscript and that just causes a series of unfortunate events. And in this world, this is like our world, but there's also witches and vampires and demons. And so it turns out that every single creature on the planet is after that manuscript. And that gets our main character, Diana, involved in a bunch of things. And she also gets involved with this broody, sexy, dark vampire called Matthew, and there's a romance, and I'm not gonna say any more than that, but that's essentially the gist of the story without any spoilers. And if you have a lot of patience and you don't mind a lot of description, then I would say this is worth the read. I mean, it does honestly require a lot of patience and there's a lot of information in here. But if you can get past that, then the story is truly amazing. And I am very curious to see where it's gonna go because that ending is interesting. So the second book is gonna be very different and I will get to it again sooner rather than later because I don't wanna forget what's happened in here. And if I wait too long, I, I definitely will because I have a goldfish memory. Next up, I have another series and this is just the first three books in the series. And I'm talking about the Millennium series by Stieg Larsson. So I have the first three because, well, I don't have a reason. I just wanted to get these editions because the editions that I have are the um, Swedish movie covers mass market paperbacks something and i just wanted the like fancy colorful pretty editions so i have here the girl with the dragon tattoo the girl who played with fire and the girl who kicked the hornet's nest i don't really talk too much about these books on my channel and i'm not entirely sure why but this is my favorite series in the world and this is not fantasy, it's actually a mystery thriller. And considering the fact that I do not read mystery thrillers whatsoever, this is my favorite series in the whole wide world. And it doesn't make any sense, but I just love it a lot. 
and I encourage you to read it if you haven't. These are heckin' amazing and they're just so good. They're, they're, why do I always struggle saying why I love a series? I just, I couldn't tell you why. I couldn't tell you why. But they're just amazing and you need to read them. Especially, especially if you love mystery, thriller books. And I'm gonna put these down because they're slipping out of my hands. But read them. So I'm gonna say a little bit about what the books are about. So you kind of follow two main characters. One's a financial journalist, and I know that sounds boring, but I promise you it's not. And the other one is like a prodigy hacker woman, and they kind of band together to solve this small town mystery of a murder of a girl that happened many, many years ago. And there's plot twists, there's stuff happening. You also get to see things from the personal lives of the characters. And I love the characters, especially the the female main character, Elizabeth Salander. She's honestly my icon. My icon. So yeah, read the books and also the rest of the books in the series. There's three more books, but written by a different author. Why? Because Stieg Larsson um, unfortunately died just after the third book was published and he obviously couldn't write more and um, the series was picked up by a different author and it was still as good, surprisingly. Like, I didn't hate the other three books by the different author. Like, the stories were equally as good and um i wish there was more i wish there was more i do have another series to show you and this was a very impulsive fomo type of purchase but honestly i i don't regret it and you're just gonna see why in just a minute of course i did get these with the intention of reading them because i've been wanting to read this series for a while and then i saw this this special edition and um the opportunity arose, you know, because I want to read them. Those are absolutely stunning. You put two and two together and you buy them. And um, yeah, I have here the Ember in the Ashes Quartet, I think. I don't know if it has a name, but these are by Sabati here. And I'm going to put them down because they're heavy and I have noodle arms. First up, there's an Ember in the Ashes. And look at this, like... Are you kidding? And then the end papers and the naked book. Like, oh my God. Oh my goodness. I could, I could stare at that the entire day and not get bored of it. You can see that these books are stunning. So then there is the A Torch Against the Night, the sprayed stenciled edges, the same end papers and the nakedness. Again, stunning. The third one is A Reaper at the Gates, stenciled sprayed edges, and this is, I think, my favorite because green is my favorite color, and the nakedness, absolutely stunning. And the last book in the series, which recently came out, and that is A Sky Against the Storm, and again, sprayed stenciled edges, same end papers, and the naked cover, which is again absolutely stunning because this is a beautiful color and it works so good with the gold so you can see why there's no regrets but at the same time my wallet weeps it weeps <laughs> but no regrets some of the most beautiful books i've seen in my life and uh i do not have an ounce of regret for owning them with that in mind i gotta say that i also have not a single ounce of idea what these books are about. I mean, I I did know what they were about at some point. I mean, I did read the synopsis, but since I have forgotten and it has been many, many years because I've had these on my Goodreads TBR for ages and I've been wanting to read them for ages and ages have passed and my memory has slipped away. And I honestly don't wanna read the synopsis again because I do not wanna know what they're about. I just, prefer going into books blindly and so honestly this memory situation sometimes works in my favor and it's times like these when it works in my favor and I'm not mad about it. And now we are down to the last three books in the haul finally. Um, these are some 
Aluminum Crate editions. So the first one I have is Red Tigress by Emily Van Zhao. This is the sequel to Blood Air, which I have not read yet, but I am it's it's very high on my TBR list, like super high. So it's gonna happen soon, very soon. And this is the sequel, which I know nothing about, but I can tell you what I know about the first one, and that is that we follow like an exiled heir to a kingdom, and she was exiled because she can control people's blood, so like blood bending, and by controlling people's blood she can also like puppeteer the people which is very cool and i think it's set in like a russian-esque inspired fantasy world which i love that is all i know about this the book and it is enough for me and i will read them and hopefully love them also might i add the edges <laughs> killing it with the edges. I am honestly a sucker for a sprayed, stenciled, any kind of customization on a book. It's just beautiful in my eyes. And that also applies for the last two books in this haul, which are Winter's Orbit by Everina Maxwell. This was the January book, I believe, for the Illumicrate subscription. And this one has amazing green sprayed edges that match the title which i love and i all i know about this one is that it's essentially red white and royal blue but set in space and i've been meaning to read red white and royal blue since forever and i know i'm gonna love it hence i know i'm gonna love this one and i want to read more sci-fi so why not and we're down to the last book a dark and hollow star by ashley shuttleworth and this cover, I honestly am in love with this cover. That uh, glare is not helping, but here you can see it sort of better. And it has pink sprayed edges, and I love pink. And I don't know too much about this book, but I know that it's City of Bones meets Cruel Prince, and I love the shadow hunter realm and i really want to read the cruel prince and i know i'm gonna love it and so i know i'm gonna love this one as well and it just sounds so good like it just sounds full of adventure and it's also like very diverse and it has a bunch of different queer characters which i'm always about love to see that honestly Illumicrate is killing it with the queerness and the diversity, and I just love to see it. That concludes my book haul. And I know, I know I have book buying problems. I, I promise you I'm working on them. But nonetheless, I do hope you have enjoyed this video. Thank you very much for watching. And if you have enjoyed this video, please give it a like and subscribe to my channel so you can see more of this face. And I will see you in another video very soon. Mm -hmm.